For this lace project, I'm going to show you a technique for casting on, which is called the long tail cast on. It's a really useful technique and it's got quite a lot of elastic to it. So it's a really good technique if you're making a hat or a scarf. And especially if you're making any knitting in the round, joining in the round, then this, this technique is really essential. So quite often when we're casting on, we will be using the main ball to get our stitches onto our needle. But for this technique, we will be making the stitches from the tail that we've taken off from the main ball itself. So we'd have to begin by working out how long a tail, long tail, we need to begin with for our project. One simple way of doing this is making a short tail to begin with, which would be the amount you'd have if you were darning in, and then wrapping it around the number of stitches you, you want to make. So I'm going to do a little swatch here of 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's 15 stitches. Now if I unravel that, holding on to it, that, that is my long tail and it gives me a good idea of that's how much I'm going to need for making my stitches. So I'm now going to make a slip knot at that point and then I can attach that to my needle ready to make my stitches. So I've now got my long tail in front of me and my main ball of wool at the back. We now need to get our hand into a position which is called a slingshot position in order to make the stitches from this long tail. So begin by holding the needle in my right hand and then with my thumb and my first finger, I go between the two threads, open them up slightly and as I'm doing that, bring my other fingers below and clamp onto those two threads. So I'm creating a triangle and as I open up my first finger and thumb, I'm going to then swing back, almost like a caterpillar position, catapult, sorry, <laughs> to that shape there. So I'm holding on with my lower fingers, the threads below, but I've got one wrapped around my thumb and one wrapped around my first finger. And it's from this thread here that I'm now going to make my first stitch. So with my tip of my right needle, I'm going to head to my thumb and I'm going to pick up that thread. Now I need to take that across to the other side to my first finger, right across, go over the top and underneath and then bring the needle back over and as I'm doing that I'm going to bring it right across and at this point I'm going to take my thumb out of that loop and at the same time, gently tighten that up and go back into that hand position. And then doing so, I've created a stitch. So a little bit tricky, but let me do it again. So with the tip of my needle, I'm going over to my thumb, to the left side, picking up this thread with my long tail, taking it right across to my first finger, at which point I'm going to bring it round the other side of that thread through, scoop it up and as I get further over I'm going to take my thumb out and use my thumb to just tighten up that thread. So now I've got three stitches. I'm going to do that again but let's get back into the position just to check how I did that. So I've got my two threads, the long tail at the front and the working ball at the back. Then with my thumb and my first finger I'm just going to go in between the two threads and at the same time with my lower fingers I'm going to grab the two threads so I've just got my two my first finger and my thumb creating this triangle as I open them up I spread them open and then I lean them back and that's what creates this slingshot thread now with my needle, I'm going to go to my thumb, pick up the thread, draw that right across to my first finger, let it slide through my finger, then to go to the other side of that thread and through, and then bring that yarn off and tighten with my thumb. One more time, thumb, first finger, through 
and off. One more time. Thumb, first finger, scoop it up and off. And gradually, you'll see, I'm managing to make my stitches. It becomes much easier with practice. And once you've got it, it's a very quick technique actually for casting on. You don't want to do it too tight. You want these to, to, to be kept at a tension that you can move them around quite comfortably. One more time. Thumb over to my first finger, catch that thread through, off, and then use my thumb to tighten it onto the needle. And there we have it. So that's called the long tail cast on.